Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream that one day the sweltering heat of injustice and oppression will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. He had a dream that one day the rough places will be made plain and the crooked places will be made straight. Dr. King had a dream that one day we will not be judged by the color of our skin, but by the content of our character. I stand before you to answer the question, what is my dream for today's world? Although I am only 10 years old, one thing I have already learned is, before you can articulate an accurate answer, you must first completely comprehend the question. In my quest to fully understand what is being asked, I discovered that there are two types of dreams. One is images and ideas that we create while we are asleep. That means we have no control over it and may not even remember it once we wake up. The other is vision, goals, and hopes that are created in our conscious minds. That means we consider these things while we are awoke. When I think of the conscious minds of great dreamers and visionaries, I immediately think of Dr. King and these words he spoke over 50 years ago. Through our scientific and technological genius, we have made this world a neighborhood, but we still don't have the ethical commitment to make it a brother and sisterhood. His words still apply to the condition of our world today. Our world, our planet, is a neighborhood filled with homes that look the same or very different on the outside and the inside. Each has unique colors and traditions, religions and beliefs, but different doesn't mean more or less valuable. My dream is that we stop being divided by those lines in the middle of the streets of our neighborhoods. Patriotism or peaceful protest, political or principle, gun regulations or second amendment rights, completely compliant or rabble rousing. These lines are meant to maintain order, but they do not prevent us from merging. My dream is that we come out of our rooms and our homes and find gathering places. My dream is that the heads of our households will meet and talk to each other. I believe wounds can be healed and wars can be prevented by having a conversation, then reaching understanding. Dr. King once said, mankind must put an end to war, or war is going to put an end to man mankind. My dream is that we go back to the days of gathering in each other's kitchens, creating recipes to preserve our precious planet. This is the only one we have. Everyone will bring their own ingredients, tools, and talents, so we can stir up new ways to have innovative interactions. If we cannot cook up new ideas and eat from all the different dishes that are brought to the table of brotherhood and sisterhood, we will surely starve to death. My dream is that we use our bathrooms more, Use those toilets to flush down old policies and procedures, old ways and methods, old signs and symbols. Flush those things that cause fighting instead of humanity. My dream is that we hit the showers, clean ourselves up so we can look in the mirror and see the reflection of what Dr. King wanted for this world, a society at peace with itself that can live with its own conscience. We're going to experience some catastrophes in our world that is going to hit one part more than the other. We need to realize that the integrity of the whole neighborhood is still affected. My hope is that during those times, our humanity compels us to immediate action, regardless of whose house the crisis is in, who they love, how they worship and pray, or what they look like. At that moment, their lives matter. It is a human responsibility as brothers and sisters to make sure they survive their disaster. My hope and desire for our world is that you adults will sharpen your minds and soften your hearts. We need you to figure out how to leave our home better than you found it. Then my generation will do the same. My dream for today's world is that we all find the courage and wisdom to live like we understand the truth of Dr. King's words. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. If we do not learn to live together as brothers and sisters, we will be forced to perish as fools. Thank you.